All right guys, it's like 7.30 right now and I just wanna give you guys a quick tip about how I was making some money getting rid of some furniture. So as you guys know, I've been renovating my room and one thing I bought in that process was a nice wooden bed frame from Ikea. And before I had a metal riser and then the box spring and then the mattress. So I took off the box spring and I took off the metal risers and those have just been chilling in the loft. So I finally decided I need to get rid of them. Didn't wanna keep them in the garage since I really don't have any use for them. And I mean, my parents wanted to keep them, but there's really no reason to keep them. So decided to post them on Facebook Marketplace and got a bunch of messages within a couple hours and ended up selling it for only $5. But to be fair, I was just trying to get rid of it quickly and clear up the space. Probably could have gotten more but I don't think we really paid much for it, so it didn't really matter. Getting $5 back was pretty good in my opinion, so that's gone now, and they actually forgot to give him two screws, but we messaged him and he said he had his own screw, so it was fine, and I'm glad that wasn't an issue because he drove from like 50 minutes away just to get this frame. So here's a little side hustle idea if you have any access to free furniture somehow. If you live in an apartment and there's a little dumping ground where people just leave furniture, you could get that stuff and put it on Facebook Marketplace 5 to $10 and people will actually come buy that stuff. Dining table I was about to give away for free. Someone actually bought it for like $70 on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm talking Facebook Marketplace specifically because I put a bunch of furniture in OfferUp and it really just sat there. No one really bought it. Facebook Marketplace furniture is by far one of the best sellers in my opinion. It sells super fast. Apparently everyone is just looking for furniture. I don't think it's just my area. I've heard about other people doing similar things. So back when we used to live in an apartment, we used to just get a lot of furniture from like right outside the dumpster because I mean, it was decent furniture and we still have some of that now and we've been getting rid of that. So that black shelf I used to have by my bed was free and priced all that for like five to $10. It's on wheels. It's got, I mean, it's not terrible. The top is kind of screwed up, but I still think you get at least $5 for that. I've got this little media unit that we also got for free, probably $5. And there actually was one shelf that I did sell for like $5, gave another one away for free, sold another one for $5. I sold a bunch of our old furniture that we weren't using back in like February or March when we we're doing a bunch of decluttering and I've been doing a bunch of decluttering now. So that's why I wanted to share this with you guys how I've been getting rid of a bunch of old furniture and making money because you guys probably have a bunch of old furniture sitting around. So I've still got the box spring left to sell. It's got a little damage on the bottom because I kind of jumped on the bed super hard one time and broke it a little in the middle, but it's not a huge deal. It's just a small piece of wood missing. I would definitely put that in the listing, but again, probably move it for like five to $10. I just posted my brother's old desk. It's completely destroyed. And while we were disassembling it, we broke it even more. So it's really just listed for like $5. If someone wants to come get it, awesome. If we have to change it to free, that's fine as long as it's gone because that desk was actually garbage. It's like Ikea furniture, worse and it costs more because it's a desk from Office Depot. I don't recommend buying a wooden desk from Office Depot because it's just like, that one in particular was just really expensive for no reason and it didn't even look that nice. It wasn't like, it was just a lot of bad so we had to get rid of that. And I also have to post my old desk since I bought a new desk and that one will probably go for some decent money actually because it's in good condition. The reason I swapped it out was because of the color and because it was kind of unstable and just because it wasn't that big. And I've also got a little shelf that I used to keep by my bed. Get rid of that now since I've got a little nightstand that I haven't installed yet. A little wall-mounted cube I got from Ikea, but can't wait to show you guys how the room is coming along. I'm gonna clear up the wires today, make it all nice and hidden and organized and easy to use because I just have wires literally everywhere right now. Let me just give you a quick glimpse behind the monitor right over there that's like the worst and then you got a bunch here and then down here by the surge protector but yeah i haven't really done much today at all i went to walmart with my dad to return some stuff and they said they couldn't accept food kind of doesn't make sense i think she just didn't really want to try because it came last week someone else let us return food and then this person also said we can't return food like a month ago or maybe even two months ago and today they said the same thing didn't even try scanning it in so Kind of want to ask for a different person, but I figured we'd just either go to a different Walmart or I would just wait since if they decline my return, they have to give me more time to do it is what she told me. But yeah, if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you check out my other vlogs. I'm going to link yesterday's vlog at the end of the video and in the description down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog. And until tomorrow's vlog, bye guys.